hey guys welcome back to my channel it's fumi um and so today as you can see by the title we'll be doing a nigerian tag for those of you who haven't yet realized it yet yes i am nigerian it is one of the most defining parts of my personality and my character i would say and so i have put a few questions on my computer down below that will <laughs> how do i that'll give you an insight as to like the nigerian side of me and just like a couple of questions just like that i found on the internet that i think would be really good to do for a nigerian tag so without further ado let's go we have a couple of questions and so we will start those now So, hey, I'm up where I want to I'm up where I want to topic going while I'm Okay, so question one is, what is your Nigerian name? And so, my Nigerian name is actually like my first and middle name. Um, so my first name is, all in all, it's Oluwa Fumilaya, and. It means um, God has given him joy. So Oluwa means God. Um, Fumi means give me and or has given me. And then Aya, it's Laya at the end, but the word joy in Yoruba is actually Aya. So Oluwa Fumi Laya, God has given me joy. So, question number two is, were you born in Nigeria? No, I was born and raised in the United States. Um, I have been to Nigeria before, and I really, I'm well overdue for another trip back home. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been back to Nigeria. Um, but no, I've been born and raised in the United States. Um, so yeah. What is your favorite Nigerian movie? Okay, so everyone that I'm, everyone that knows me, my family, my friends, my relatives like they all know that my favorite nigerian movie is the wedding party um something that a lot of people know like i'm obsessed with weddings like i will i my dream job like if i could do anything in the world i would be a wedding planner i love weddings i love love um and i think no one does no one does weddings better than nigerians like people will say oh africans have the best wedding no nigerians have yes, the best I'm weddings trying. and that's just my personal opinion on it i don't want it i don't want to hear any other opinion because you know it's mine um so yeah i think nigerian the wedding party with Banky w um and adesua i love the movie and it was even better when they actually like when they actually got married in real life too like it just warmed my whole heart like you know like i'm going crazy talking about what that's how you that's how much i love them so yeah the wedding party is my favorite nigerian film um what is my favorite nigerian song <sighs> y'all like that's hard because like it literally changes every every time someone puts out like a fire banger it's like my favorite so my favorite nigerian artists are definitely david and wizkid um my favorite Wizkid, my favorite all-time song will always be Oju Elegba. Like, no matter how old I am, if I hear Oju Elegba or Karo, Karo, or if I hear, like, those two come up on the radio, I will stop whatever. I will I will never change the song. Like, I will listen to it, and I will enjoy myself very thoroughly. Um, so, and then I also really like Faya by Davido. Um, that song, like... I start my day with Fire by Davy Doe, and so like I love it. I love that song. Um, what other songs do I like? I'm like thinking of my whole playlist right now. Um, I think it's. it's playing on oh God. Wizkid did come out with the two songs, um, Sokka and Novel. I love those songs. Um, I remember when, and I'm the type of person like I get onto music like typically really really late but nowadays with afro beats like i've been on it and like they've been fire so i'm proud um so yeah but do i have any other i have so many favorites so i have a whole spotify playlist like i will attach it below but like 
pretty much all I listen to is Afrobeats. Like there's the occasional American song, but for the most part, it's Afrobeats. And just like the ones that I mentioned before, Uju Alegba, Karu, Nawo Soko, and Faya, like those are like my top five songs on my playlist at any given. Every single playlist I have that's Afrobeats or African related always has those five songs on it. It's just like, a n oh, and Do by, I ooh, I don't remember. It's not by Davido, but Davido's in the song. That is also always on my playlist. And it just came out too. Um, but I will attach my Spotify playlist at the bottom. Um, it is mainly Afrobeats, but those are my favorite songs. Okay, so next question is what is your favorite Nigerian food? Okay, so I love jollof rice. And to be even more specific, I love my mother's jollof rice. Um, there's always this beef about, oh, who makes the better jollof rice, Ghanaians or Nigerians? And I tell everyone all the time, I don't care what you think, my mother makes the best jollof rice. So in my opinion, Nigerian jollof rice will always reign supreme. I don't care who comes in the, if your jollof rice can be good, I don't care. I'm not saying your jollof rice is trash, but you never have my mother's. Like what I tell you, my mother's jollof rice, if she put it in a food competition, she'd win first place every single time. Like I've never heard anyone say, like people at parties, they will ask like, oh, did Fumi's mom make this? Or who made the jollof rice? And if it wasn't my mom, <laughs> you know some people, they won't eat it. Um, but like, yeah, my mom's jollof rice is fire. I honestly wish that I could serve all of y'all a plate. But hey, if y'all ever run into me at a social function, just know my, my mom's jollof rice might be there. And then we can, we can do exchange and then you can tell me, oh, Fumi, your mom's jollof rice is bomb, like A1, right? <laughs> so okay, next question. When was the last time you went to Nigeria? Okay, so right now I am 20. I went when I was in the fifth grade, I wanna say. It was, I think it was the summer, trans yeah. I was in the fifth grade, so I think I was like, what, 11? Yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I've been back home. I'm well overdue. Like, I will get on the phone with my relatives and they'll be like, oh, so-and-so had a baby. And I'm like, I thought she only, I, thought, I didn't even know she was married. It's like, oh yeah, she had a baby. So. Yeah, I'm well overdue, and I'm sure Nigeria has developed in the nine years that it's been since I've been home. So yeah, what tribe are you? I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I'm a proud Yoruba woman. Um, don't come in my neck. Um, so with that, with with being Yoruba, there's a lot of connotations that come with it, like um, Yoruba demons in terms of men. And I tell, when my friends bring that up, they were like, oh, so like, are you gonna marry a Yoruba man? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I will marry a Yoruba man, have myself a nice traditional Yoruba wedding, and have myself a nice little American wedding as well. It will be a three-part event. Um, and I, do, I look forward to marrying a Yoruba man. Like, I love the Yoruba culture. I think the Yoruba culture is rich, and like, I don't foresee myself marrying outside of my culture. Note, I don't foresee myself. I don't know what the future lies ahead, but as for me, I don't see myself ending up with a non-Yoruba man for the rest of my life. Um, and so, yeah, like, I... I do, do I believe in the whole Yoruba demon theory? Yes, I've seen it and um, haven't experienced it for myself to the glory of God. Um, but I think that at the end of the day, if someone, like God has in store for me a man who's not a Yoruba demon. And so I'm sit, I am sit here and I'll wait for as long as I need to for like the love of my life to come. And by God's grace, he's a Yoruba man. Like that's what I want and I believe that God will give his children what they want, right? Right. So, yeah, so to answer the question, I'm Yoruba. <laughs> I, I went so off topic, that's hilarious. Okay, so say something in your tribal language. Um, okay. So, like, hello is Bawuni. Like, yeah, so you're saying hello to some, like, hello, how are you? It's like, oh, Bawuni. And I'd be like, oh, Mowa. Yeah, so Mowa means, like, oh, I'm doing well. Bawuni, like, hello. Um, there's also the insult. And for the sake of, like, the fact that my parent, my mother might be watching this, I'll say the insult. So, like, they're all on Google, so just to, just to show, I mean, like, yeah, it's just, I don't want to get into it, because I, I ain't trying to get in trouble for putting some words on the internet, um, 
I just get but in terms of like and even speaking the language i will say that i have limited working proficiency in terms of speaking like i can hold a simple conversation with someone um i can understand it perfectly um which i find amazing because i've only been to nigeria one time in my whole life and um when i grew up it's not like my parents didn't speak ex exclusively Yoruba to us like it was a mix of like Yoruba and English but majority English um, and I think with the whole um I think what actually helped me was the fact that like my parents even though like we spoke a lot of English in the house like they still spoke Yoruba so and they still made us like very immersed in our culture like going to parties going to events um I think I mentioned before that like my dad's a pastor so it was like learning African songs and so having to like be able to it, it's almost like an immersion while I'm still like living in the United States um so like I can understand about like 90% of when people are speaking Yoruba or at least like take context clues from the conversation and be able to form a good response and I am able to hold like a simple conversation I can't read in Yoruba I can't write in Yoruba um but yeah so next question what do you like the most about Nigeria um I think I said like the weddings is a huge thing that I love a lot like I just I love Nigerian weddings like I follow Bella Nija every single popular wedding site that you can think of or any every wedding planner that's like a big wedding planner in Nigeria just know like I follow them on social media um it's some it's like it's amazing because it's it come it combines like love and culture into two great things and <sighs> the looks, the makeup, like, ah, Nigerians, they can beat face, oh gosh, like, they can beat face, like, I don't know what. Um, the culture, the law, like, it's just, it's like the Ankara, the Asho Ebi, the Asho Ke, like, all of it, I love it. Um, and just in general, the culture of Nigeria, because, like, it, I can only speak for Yoruba people. But the one thing that I I can say across the board from all Nigerians, well most Nigerian people, like, you know there are those few that like don't really want to, that don't really claim that they're Nigerians. Um, the one thing I will say is like 90% of the Nigerian, well 99% of the Nigerians I know are proud to be Nigerian and like they go hard for Nigeria, like they rep that their country like no other. So like that's what I love the most is the culture, the pride, and the weddings. <laughs> Um, what do you hate the most about Nigeria? I say that this goes without question, the corruption, it's very, the government, um, could be a lot better. There could be a lot better, um, with the country. The country could be a lot more better if people weren't so money hungry. That's one thing that Nigeria and Nigerian people are very into money, especially the people in government, the politicians, the people in government. And so that's one thing I do wish that was better about the country, um, and do I have any Nigerian nicknames or pet names? Um, Fumi. Um, my friends here call me. Why? But I mean, why would you call me? Now, I mean, I feel like now that like you understand like it's God. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know. It's to each his own. Um. What else? I guess like a nickname for I did Ronke is Ronke, but like the only person that calls me my middle name is my aunt. Um, at home, but yeah, like those are the main ones. Like mostly everyone just calls me Fumi. Um, my dad will call me Fumi Laya. Um, yeah, like I don't really have many nicknames. I mean, I I answer to almost anything because like I feel like every African kid or every foreign kid has gone through the moments where like you're in class and the teacher doesn't know how to pronounce your name. So you kind of just, I've adapted to be able to respond to like anything. So if you want to call when people butcher my name, a nickname, okay. I don't, I don't know, but I just go with it. Um, so next question, and it's the last question actually, what makes me different from other Nigerians? Um, I don't know because the way that like, okay, so I, have been one of those people as a kid from a kid i saw that like okay i'm a super african name um it's always going to cause 
commotion especially among my peers so i've never been one of those people that have been like ashamed of being african i kind of just like acknowledged it and went with it and like as i grew older i became more and more passionate and now it's like the first thing that you'll know about me is like oh she's an african girl like oh just like that's for me she's nigerian she's proud of it and she's gonna let you know and i don't really think that makes me different uh and I don't really think like me, the fact that I've been doing it from a kid makes me different just because there's so many other people that have done it that are like proud to be Nigerian and they've always been proud to be Nigerian and there wasn't that moment, that crisis of identity thing that some people went through growing up. So like I don't really think there's anything that makes me different from other Nigerians because there's, we're such a large pop we're such a large group of people. I think it's like the third, like the third most populous country. Um, and like the, yeah, so it's the third most populous country in the world. So like, there's a lot of Nigerians everywhere. So there's not really a, what makes me different because it's such a broad topic. Uh, but yeah, I think that it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope that you got to know a little bit more about me. If you have any other questions um, or comments about like me, my Nigerianness, my Africanness, any other videos that you'd like to see about Nigeria, me being African, um, you can put them in the comment box. I don't know if I don't. <laughs> I'm testing out new camera equipment and I'm like, this table is not as sturdy as I thought it would be, but it's okay. Um, and so, yeah, so that's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Um, share this with your friends. Um, follow me on my social media, which will be down below in the description box. Um, what else? Look at my other videos. Look at my makeup tutorials. Um, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I've never done makeup before. So please don't shame me um, on my videos. I try, I try as hard as I can. Just putting out content for the people. So yeah. So um, anything else? Though, is is that it for my little run? I think that's it. All right. So uh, ooh, this hair. I have not straightened this hair. I need to blow this hair out. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.